guys, this is Odd One Gaming. This is going to be another Dragonair Salon Gods video. In today's video, I want to show you something really exciting, and that is a team that I came up with. You know, I was testing some stuff, but this is the team that I came up with that can do Grave of Venom Stage 7 with all free to play or easy, you know, or I guess I wanted to call them all rares, but you know, Horus is not a rare. However, everybody gets him. Then again, I don't know what, what uh, rarity would you call the adventurer? Cause he is in this team. And well, basically apart from that, I have three rares. So, you know, ca call it as you may, but this team has been doing Grave 7 and ca can do Grave 7 for me. Obviously it requires some tweaks, some testing and it's not going to be perfect, it's not going to be 100%, it looks pretty good, but, you know, it can have a fail rate, however, I'm not using any consumables, I'm not using anything else to, like, boost this team, uh, you know, up, and it's, it's a really amazing thing, because this unlocks the legendary gear, okay, so, unfortunately, I wish I had somebody else instead of a uh, sacred built up, or had the resources to build somebody else instead of sacred up, and that would be another DPS, in here that can bring the decrease attack from early on i don't know why but when it comes to the placement if i put the if i put sigrid on this side where quarian is she just does not want to attack the boss she just uh, keeps attacking the side uh egg so i just placed her on the same side as my adventurer so that we can kill the right one pretty fast and then focus on the boss but i'm really happy about this because like i said this is pretty amazing to be able to farm uh legendary gear with you know i'm free to play heroes every i mean almost everybody is replaceable in this team uh and some of them you just do not want to replace if you're gonna have a better tank instead of a uh, horror so for example maybe you have a fruit bath fruit bath might be better apart from that i'm not sure there's many other ones that might be better instead of uh horus because horus is really tanky himself and his passive makes him to be able to you know just keep himself alive because every time you know like every seven seconds he just keeps putting a shield or has a chance to put the shield on himself that makes him be able to tank all of those hits from the boss as you can see i'm not don't even have the decrease attack up because i don't have enough accuracy on uh on horus he does not have a hundred percent chance to land decrease attack on his battle skill and like i said the sigrid unfortunately just keeps hitting this side one but if you had anybody else instead of sigrid that can come in this dps uh, slot that maybe has an aoe with decrease attack and you place them over here that should make it even easier and even more reliable but the way that i, I found this team uh built up it's like i said i just placed most of the people here on the side deal with deal with this side deck first and then when we start focusing the boss you're gonna you see we'll have no issues just early on up until we kill this first one it looks a little bit dodgy but it still works just fine then the next one that we have so we have horus we have uh like i said the dps slot which you'd prefer to have somebody that brings decrease attack and hopefully when you put them in the spot it's gonna keep attacking the boss then the adventurer you can choose between using them either as fire or as uh as frost okay if you bring somebody else that does damage and guarantees you the decrease attack you can keep as fire if it looks a bit dodgy then bring them as frost so you can get that extra shield in here i could afford with the way that i have them built to just keep him as fire then hexandra is somebody that well i would not suggest replacing hexandra she's amazing for this one because she brings a massive heal on her ultimate and then on her passive skill she brings again a really good heal that also cleanses that decrease defense so the battle skill from Alexandra is amazing <clears throat> and then in the last spot i do have quarian but i guess it can be any other hero if you have an uh epic killer you know they bring some some more stuff in there definitely bring those ones if not if you have a quarian i suggest quarian because he's really helpful as uh, he brings some good shields uh on the pass a good shield on the passive then he brings good healing on ultimate with uh decrease uh with increased defense but if you don't have him maybe you have a megan megan is like you know kind of similar she can cleanse the decreased defense as well so megan could be really helpful in this team but yeah it's it's a really fun team and i'm really happy that it works i'm gonna show you the builds after this one ends as well i try to keep you know 
as a relatable as free to play friendly the gear why the gear stuff so hopefully this is gonna help you guys out and yeah this is really fun after this one finishes it's not fast by the way it's not fast but after this one finishes i'm gonna show you again the position that you want to have in this team because that really matters i made a video a while back saying like oh my god what a discovery because i did not know but if you have the people if you have one single tank or like one melee unit you definitely want to have the position like this tank over here in the middle somebody else on this side preferably you want to have whoever has the lowest hp to be in this spot because he's gonna be the one that's gonna keep getting attacked by this side that let me see is it this one yeah deals poison damage to the enemy with the lowest hp okay so whoever has the lowest hp place them over here or i think it works even over here but uh, that one's gonna help because when you do the healing you're gonna heal the tank and that person with the lowest hp okay because the bot uh, he's gonna go over here and then if you have your uh, lowest hp over here the area should cover them even if it's on this spot it should still be the same because it's the square that even the lowest healer has at least this square then you want another healer uh, on this side you prefer to have the dps over here but like i said for some reason if i place sigrid over here she does just does not attack the boss she attacks the side egg i don't know why it's a bit weird but i decided to just keep her over here alongside the adventure just kill the egg first and then focus on the harpy and then obviously the last healer whoever you have just place them over there now let's go and have a look at the builds that i have on them so uh I, i'm obviously going to be having epic gear on everybody because at this point you know when you're trying to push the next level you should be having epic gear on everyone so i do i did try to focus as much attack as possible on the adventurer because if you're using him as frost his shield scale off of attack so i have attack percent chest I have attack percent gloves and then you know whatever i completed the sets and whatever gave, gives me a little bit more attack percent or crit rate that's what i used i use this free to play artifact everybody gets this one just at level nine then i have an attack uh what's it called attack positive rune from the heretical ruins which you know what stage four should be pretty obtainable to farm so having an epic uh, room by the time you push to get legendary uh, gear from grave of venom shouldn't be as hard and then i just have a level eight uh rare negative room which again stage one and two of the ancient battlefield is pretty easy to farm and you should have any random rare rune i even have like higher levels <clears throat> but i said you know what let me just let me just use rare ones because i'm trying to make it as relatable as possible do keep in mind that the adventurer and horus are upgraded to five star that gives them a ton of extra uh stats but you don't necessarily need the adventurer to be the next level however you'd prefer to have horus because he's the one that's going to be tanking and you want him to be as tanky as possible obviously so for horus i do have the troll's heart gives him defense and some more hp percent and then again hp percent hp percent so just try and give him as much hp percent and defense percent he's only in the team to tank okay if he does a little bit of damage fine but but he's only in there to tank the accuracy that i have on him does not help me much <clears throat> when it comes to runes i have an hp one with whatever other stats and then this one again hp one with some hp percent for horus then if we look at my first healer quarion again he's upgraded as well but this does not matter honestly for the healers it doesn't really matter as long as they have you know decent enough hp and they're not going to be targeted you should be fine and that's how you usually want to build your healers and I'm, i do have my healers with as much of the skill haste as i could get them you see i have a resistance chest here doesn't give me much crit rate glove again doesn't help me with anything it's just i completed the set i completed the the goblin brawler so i can get a 20 percent skill haste okay <clears throat> i do have the luminary or gospel the, this one that gives extra healing on quarry on this one can be on hexange or anybody else because you know extra healing is gonna help hp you even put a rare one i could have i could have gone with something higher but i just went with a rare positive rune and again a rare negative rune for quarion <clears throat> hexandra i just gave her this meditator's pipe it's not the best it's not the worst i just you know a little bit of extra stats that helps same principle as quarion just have the sets of goblin brawler again resistance defense percent and whatever other random stats enlightenment on her because enlightenment boosts her uh, her battle skill healing so this one can help and then over here just again whatever i saw the first one leveled it and threw it on her just to have those extra stats <clears throat> she's again uh five star ascended but same principle you don't really need it you should be fine with just having horus and maybe your dps to make to you know to make sure you have enough damage 
to have those ones as five stun that should be just fine but in my team i don't even have sigrid five star okay so if you do have your dps at five star that's gonna help because look at this you're gonna get a good chunk of damage some good hp as well so that that's going to help <clears throat> and then for sigrid i try to give her the accuracy you know you need around 170 to land your debuff so i tried to give her some accuracy but it wasn't the best i have an accuracy chest crit rate glove on her and then just completed the sets again same principle completed the goblin brawler set and then completed the predator set <clears throat> give her this artifact to get some accuracy like whichever one you have that gives you some more accuracy just use that one on her because she's gonna be the debuffer and if you don't have cigarette like i said any other deep dps that brings decreased attack just give them the accuracy to land their stuff and then you know pump out as much damage as you can and if they're gonna have the lowest hp place them in the spot that i showed you the adventurer is so they're gonna be healed up at the same time where horus or whoever your tank is going to be healed up and then when it comes to runes i do have an attack with attack speed and some hp percent so you know nothing too crazy i didn't i tried to keep it as relatable as possible and <clears throat> i'm really happy that it worked i'm really happy that this one worked it looks pretty fun and oh yeah one last thing make sure you use horus's aura you know it's the best aura that i have for here so i used horus's 24 percent uh max hp boost in all battles because it, it you know it helps a ton however if you see that it's a little bit you know you're just not quite there to beat it do not forget about consumables you know you can always go and throw <clears throat> more max hp more max hp more attack depending on what you need just throw those little extra stats uh, in there just to you only need to do it a few times okay you only need to do it like i don't know 10 15 times 20 times so you can start forging those legendary pieces of gear and then you're not going to be needing those consumables and yeah yeah this is this should be easy because consumables you can just farm off the map you pay, you can buy from any vendor and it should be pretty obtainable for you to do so but yeah i think this is gonna be it for the video today guys i hope you enjoyed it this is like i said really exciting because grave of venom is the most important out of the gear dungeons from my point of view because it gives you good stats for dps it gives you good stats for support it gives you good stats for overall and it's kind of like the easiest one to to start farming for legendary gear as well because you just need survivability you know lots of tankiness one dps and you should be fine in there but yeah, thank you all for watching. As always, if you do enjoy my content, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel to see when I upload next, and I'm going to see you on the next one. Peace, love, take care, everyone. Bye, guys.